This is Kajol Jadav and I am here to explain daily current affairs for UPSC Civil Services exam. Genome Editing Time has come for India to seriously exchange views about ethics of gene editing. What is genome editing? What is its significance? What is CRISPR, CAS9 technology? How does it give new dimension to genome editing? Where does India stand on this matter? What is the situation in other countries? What are the ethical concerns about gene editing? What is the way forward for India? GS Paper 3 Science and Technology Developments and their applications and effects in everyday life. In this video, you can find detailed answers for all the above questions. The above article has been retrieved from the Hindustan Times dated December 18, 2017. What is the context about? Recently, doctors in California edited the genes of a patient with Hunter's syndrome. It was described as the world's first experimental attempt at changing faulty genetic material in a human. Now, genome editing is moving fast from the labs to clinics and companies. And India too is readying for genome editing. Private companies have entered the contest for its commercial potential to treat inherited genetic disorders, cancers and neurodegenerative diseases. What is genome editing? What is its significance? Genome editing is a way of making specific changes to the DNA of a cell or organism, an enzyme Cut the DNA at a specific sequence. By editing the genome, the characteristics of a cell or an organism can be changed. Genome editing can be used to add, remove or alter DNA in the genome. This opens up possibilities for its use in plant and animal breeding, medicine, public health and development biology at the practical level and designer babies and lean or even micro pigs as pets at the exotic. What is CRISPR CAS9 technology? How does it give new dimension to genome editing? CRISPR CAS9 is the most common cheap and efficient system used for genome editing. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. CRISPR is the DNA targeting part of the system which consists of an RNA molecule or guide designed to bind to specific DNA bases through complementary base pairing. CRISPR CAS9 technology is giving new dimension to genome editing while it is faster, cheaper and more accurate than earlier techniques and can precisely target a sequence of DNA, extract, edit or replace it even in the embryo stage. The technique can prevent hereditary diseases such as sickle cell, thalassemia, HIV, cancer and Huntington's disease from passing on to the children. Another popular method is somatic cell gene therapy, SCGT, which affects only an individual and not his or her future generations. Where does India stand on this matter? India has not permitted trials of CRISPR-Cas9 technology to edit the human 
Germline, the Department of Biotechnology and Indian Council of Medical Research, had met to discuss the social and ethical implications of genome editing in India. Now, the government is yet to issue broad guidelines for researchers. What is the situation in other countries? In 2015 in London, 16-month-old Lila Richards became the first ever recipient of gene therapy to cure her of incurable leukemia. The UK has moved fast on research and clinical use of CRISPR Cas9 and the NAS NAM paper has encouraged cautious research in the US. Austria, Italy, Spain and the Netherlands have banned human germline editing while ambiguous guidelines are in place in Mexico, Canada and Argentina. What are the ethical concerns about gene editing? Ethical concerns over genetic modification are not new, particularly when it comes to humans. This is because changes made in the germline would be passed down to future generations. It is impossible to obtain informed consent for germline therapy because the patients affected by the edits are the embryo and future generations. Genome editing will only be accessible to the wealthy and will increase existing disparities in access to healthcare and other interventions. Many people have moral and religious objections to use of human embryos for research. What is the way forward for India? In a country with mushrooming unregulated clinics practicing in vitro fertilization and pre-implantation genetic diagnosis that often engage in unethical practices and commercial exploitation of potential parents, we need to be vigilant. Even as Indian biotechnologists embark on the research, it would be wise to learn from the GM cotton experience and initiate a broader dialogue and foster public trust and understanding. As with all emerging technologies that interface science with society, there is no need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Thank you.